Okay, that's it. This is Tarifa behind me, so I think we can, I can officially say that I'm entering the Atlantic. So it's six in the morning, getting the boat ready, eating something, and then I'm off. Going to pass the Gibraltar Strait. Have to be early because um, there is some uh, current in the strait, and if I want to have them pushing me, I, t I need to leave now. So yeah, big uh, big turn in the in the travel and big day. Let's see how it goes. The wind is is pretty strong, and um, after it should be fine. But you know, in the in the strait, because of channeling effect, you can have lots of winds. It's going to be interesting. And that's it, I'm on course, this is Europe, this is Africa, so yeah, I'm right in the middle of the strait, and um, yeah, let's go, that's uh, six to seven hundred miles to uh, Canaria or Madeira, I'll see where I go on the way, depending on the wind, so yeah, good six to eight days sailing depending on the conditions it's going to be nice long sail but should be good downwind all the time normally and now i have to pay attention because uh, this is the narrowest point almost of the channel and where the winds uh, are normally picking up quite a lot so i need to pay attention i only have the head sail now i already uh, took two reef one reef need to be ready to take action in case the wind can increase into 30 to 50 percent fall depending on who tells you and then all the all the cargo ships you see are all in a in a line they're in a traffic separation scheme so i need to pass it a bit more offshore and then i'd be able to cross and head to uh, madeira i think i'm going to go to madeira i've been thinking about it Okay, so first mistake of this passage, I uh, this morning refill uh, the, the water tank a little bit just to top it up and I forgot to put the tap on the, on the water tank so, and the, the tap is on the deck and, um, and yeah, a couple of waves, I think only two uh, pass on the deck before I realized so there will be a little bit of salt water in my clear water but uh, I, I think it's fine I have 45 liters and maybe if even if one liter entered it will be just fine Atlantic. Morning. This is the second. This is, yeah. This is the morning of day two. Nice sunrise. So yesterday it was really windy. The wind slowly went down during the night. So now it's pretty quiet. I was expecting this kind of. So I'm going to put the main sail bag and probably the spinnaker so we do some spin.
Alright, a lot better. That's it, the spinnaker is set and uh, it's really good. I gain easily 1.5 to, to 2 knots boat speed. So, yeah, really good for the average. I just need to be more careful because if the wind increases, I don't have to wait too much before putting it off and uh, putting the general instead. But uh, it's not like I have nothing else to do. Now, now a bit of fishing. That's my fishing rod. Highly technical, huh? Morning of day three and I just I did some more sails. There we go, twin Genoa. Let's see, I'm still I'm still wondering what I do, whether I go directly to uh, Canarias or whether I should stop in Madeira. So far it's still like same more or less uh, distance. But I would need to change the course this direction to Madeira. Really wondering what to do right now. <clears throat> there we are in the Atlantic on Spinnaker. That's nice. Doing a good average speed. Autopilot is doing good so I'm happy. And yeah, no, all good. Going to Madeira, I think. We're on the good course, good wind. Should be like this for the next three days. So yeah, three days and I'm there. up a little bit I'm still with the, the spinnaker it's really nice I'm doing like surfs over over eight knots but um, yeah soon I'm going to put it down so I don't uh, damage it it's really good but uh, the boat is going fast and it's not always easy to control when the, there is a little gust so yeah it's quite cool Okay, so tonight on the menu we have, actually I don't know the name in English, des poireaux there, and I'm going to add rice uh, after this. Um, I'm trying to cook as much as I can on one pot, on one pan, so I'll have less stuff to, to wash. So not, something that I'm trying since a while is just to cook the salsa, whatever it is. Now it's uh, poireaux with a bit of cream. And uh, just like the, leave this mijote for a while, and after I just put the rice and the normal amount of water I put, and just cook it like this. And it makes kind of a risotto, something. You can eat it straight out of the pan, it's perfect. No washing, it's good. You add a bit of parmesan on top, and it's perfect. Look yummy.
Good morning everyone. This is a really grey morning, but it's okay. It's day four. Um, the night has been pretty calm. We've been going in between these small storms. Uh, actually, we got becalmed a lot between four and between three and seven. So hard to get some rest. Lots of noise inside the boat. Uh, lots of adapting sails and course. But now wind is kind of stable. Hope it will stay like this. Also, good news during the night. I passed the um, halfway point. So now. Uh, I did more than half of the of the distance. Now it's about 260 miles left, so that's a bit more than 48 hours. So it's good. There is a little bit of rain coming, so I'm hiding inside, just checking from time to time that it doesn't get too windy. But it seems that it's just a bit of rain, wind is not affecting. So. boat it's a big sailing super yacht they motoring next to me it's been like 40 48 hours I haven't seen any cargo ship or any vessel at all sailing super yacht sailing super yacht sailing super yacht for sailing vessel on a day on a day on a day can you read me over so it's fun to see someone I've been trying to call them on radio but they don't want to play with me bad good morning this is day five and overnight we've been doing 12 miles like since yesterday eight it's really not good we've been become like this it's like quite a lot of swell and I'm only able to get a, a little bit of general out because otherwise it's uh, just flapping around and damaging it against the spreaders and everything. Barometer is going down probably going to get some wind at some point but when no ID so so far it's just floating around we'll see. So it's been several hours now that I'm completely becalmed, no wind at all. I'm lucky the um, the swell is not too uncomfortable. Sometimes it rocks, but it's kind of okay. Not much sun, so just waiting for the wind to come back. I've been like trying to play around with ropes, need a small protection for the when the autopilot touches. Yeah, not much to do. Reading and yeah, just waiting for something to happen. Let's see. So after f four days of downwind and one day of being become, now I'm like sailing super close to the wind. But now the wind is facing straight from where I want to go. So I'm going to have to tack and there is still 200 miles so I really hope that the wind is going to veer a bit so I can have a, a course which is more appropriate because right now yeah, I'm going this direction and I need to go this direction so yeah fun look at the boat leaning the first part of that passage had been pretty calm and smooth, the situation was about to change drastically. Stay tuned for the next episode to see Annalie and myself face some severe weather on that passage to Madeira. Awesome words.